Praise the Lord. Uh, things are no better. And they're getting worse. Okay? We that are the children of God need to take a stand for Him. Here in Colossians, <clears throat> it reads, Colossians 3 and um, uh, let's see. Uh, where should I begin? Okay, let's start with chapter 3, verse 5. Modify, therefore, your members. I mean, mortify, therefore, your members, which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanliness, inordinate affections, evil, um, uh, com, com, C O N C U P I S C E N C E, covenous, which is adultery, for which things sh shake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. And the which ye also walk sometimes when ye lived in them. Now we all have lived in them but through the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach, who has cleansed us of these things. But now ye also put off all these, this. We put off all this other stuff. But now ye also put off these, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthiness, um, conversation out of the mouth, filthy communication out of the mouth, lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his desires. you got to put off that old man. And have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him, where there is neither Greek Neither Jew, nor circumcised, nor uncircumcised, barbarian, bond or free, but Christ is all in all. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbidding one another, and forgiving one another forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man hath a quarrel within any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all these things put on charity, that's love, which is the bond of perfection. Let the peace of God rule in your heart, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching, admonish one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give thanks to God and the Father by Him. So this is purifying oneself for the things that's about to come upon this earth, and it's going to get worse. I want to say this again. Our president is the fasona of evil. And some might say, oh, Barbara, that's our president. You need to respect him. I give respect to those that deserve respect, that have earned respect. You have to earn it, you know. I have not seen this man earn anything. I've seen him stand 
and lie blatantly to the American people. Now, the way our government is set up, it is for the people, by the people, not for Obama, by Obama, okay? I don't hate this man, but I do believe that he is totally being used by Satan himself to destroy this country. And by destroying this country, he can try to destroy God's children that live here in America. You know, God's people live all around the world. And that's why these things are happening. Our governments are pressing their people down like a big block, just pressing them down to where they just finally give in and give up. The one thing that I truly believe is this Obamacare thing is the very tool of Satan thought up by him and placed in Obama's head to create, to control the people here in the United States. If you can control the people's health, you can control the people's food supply, you can control their jobs, you can control pretty well everything in that person's life that's important to them. If you can control the basic needs of a human being and you can say, you either do this or you do without. If you need a doctor and you don't do it our way, well, just go out and die. Because we're not going to let them treat you. We're not going to pay for it. If you need food, they will say, I'm going to cut off the food stamps, cut them back, and you will do what we want you to do, or you can starve. If they control your jobs, they can say, you do what we tell you to do when we tell you to do it, or your company will lay you off. It's all about a control factor that comes in and bringing the people into a ball and tighten it that down. And then they can say to you, now, if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, <clears throat> all of this stuff is going to be taken away from you. No health care, no food, no jobs, no nothing. Is that not kind of what it says in... Ooh, let me see. What does it say in Revelations? Okay. Maybe I need to go there and put it out to you of what's going on here in America with our wonderful, glorious president that most of you Christians voted back in. Okay, let's see. Where does it say here in Revelations? Okay, let me see. And the beast raised out of the sea. And the beast of the earth come up. Ah, here it is. Uh, 13. Let's see. Let's just begin with verse 8 in chapter 13. And I beheld another beast come up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spoke like a dragon, and he exists exhorted all the power of the first beast before him and caused the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, beast whose deadly wound was healed. And he doth great wonders 
So there's going to be miracles, wonders, and signs, false prophets, false teachings that's going to come about. And you're, he's going to do miracles and wonders. So that he maketh far come down from heaven on the earth and in the sight of man. And he deceived them dwelling on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had performed to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should be both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused all, both small, great, rich, and poor, free, and bond, to receive a mark, you know, that chip is part of it, okay? It's not the total mark, but it is the beginning. I'll explain in a minute and when I get through reading. To receive a mark on the right hand or their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beasts, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score and six. Okay. How this will work with this law, Obamacare law, that will control your life, and that's about to bankrupt our country. has a law in it that says <clears throat> that all people by the year of 2014 has to be chipped. Got a chip? Now, in one of my videos below, I, I put a video where it showed, literally showed, where this man went and had a chip put right here, right here in his hand. Well, that chip, I'm telling you, is leading up to the mark of the beast. I do not believe it is the mark, but it's leading up. Why? So they can track you. See, right now, we have chips in our driver's license, in our cell phone. Here. You see this? It has a tracking device in it. It has a chip in it. Our car has a chip in it. Our TV has a chip in it. Where they can watch you and they can hear you. But see, we could dispose of them. We could either go back and buy cars before this time. You know, here in Arkansas, we call old clunkers. But you can fix them and they run quite well. But they don't have that box in there with the chips and things in it. We can get rid of our cell phones. We can get rid of our TVs. We could even get rid of our internets. We could really dispose of everything, and if we had to, we could just leave our driver's license and all of our credit cards and everything behind if we wanted to go to the wilderness and survive. Because if you, if you go, you have to leave it behind if you don't want them to track you. But you see, the governments are smart enough to know this. So, there's a law in Obamacare that says everybody here in the United States, and I believe it's in a lot of laws around the world, that at least by 2014, you have to be chipped. No ifs, ands, buts about it. It's a law. You know, you've heard it, haven't you? Many times on the TV, the news, the, they'll state... 
especially the Democrat Party, will say, well, it's a law now. Live with it. Well, you know what? Laws can be appealed. They can. But see, they're trying to say, no, it can't. No, it can't. It went to the Supreme Court. You can't do it. Excuse me. There has been laws in the Constitution of the United States that have been appealed, modified, changed. Oh, you remember way back when they did the probation, pro, you know, outlawed booze. And it got so rampant, uh, you know, people making their own booze and and... It got pretty wild back there in the Roaring Twenties. Well, they appealed that law again. You know, they appealed one law to to change where you, you could not buy booze. Then they had to go and reappeal that law. Where okay, this was a bad law. Okay, we we did something that we shouldn't have done, and we caused more harm than good. So they appealed it. So this Obamacare law can be appealed. So don't let anybody tell you it can't be just because it went before the Supreme Court. It can be appealed. It will take a little effort, but it can be. People have been kicked off of their insurance and what did Obama said say I just heard it while ago on um, the news him Obama himself sitting there saying if you like your doctor you can keep your doctor period if you like your health care plan, you can keep your health plan, period. He blatantly lied. Blatantly lied. Now this health care thing had got passed during his first inauguration and run, the first four years, but did you notice it never got activated until his second term because if it had got activated before he would never got in office if this stuff right now that was hap is happening right now he would have lost the election hands down there are so many people that are getting angry and there are people like me and others that tried to tell you that it was a mistake to get him reelected. Would the other guy be any better? I don't know. But the whole fact of it is, he ran on a lie that is going to destroy the United States so that it will be ready to go into the one world order. He has to destroy it, people. He has to. You know, We've got two more years of him. 2014-2015 before the elections even. Even go again. Or in a mess. And the reason why I keep saying this we that believe in Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, needs to understand this and not be sucked in. 
We need to stand firm in our soul salvation and our commitment to Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, and to the Father God, Yahweh. We need to stand firm because if you are not well grounded and well rooted in the salvation of the blood that he shed for us on the cross, we're going to be sucked in and we're going to take that chip and we are going to have to take the mark or they will track us to the end of the earth and going to kill us anyway. It's a tracking device. Why do you put a chip in a animal? Why do people chip their dogs so they can find them? They can track them if they want to. We are no more than cattle or dogs thereafter after the chip is implanted. And it's in the law, people. It's in the law. By the year 2014, everybody is supposed to be chipped. One day you will go into your doctor's office and they will say, you have to be chipped. And they'll have it ready for you to do it. Because the government will tell them they have to do this. Or they will lose their money to be able to be a doctor. Hospitals will have to abide by it. Or they will lose their funding. We are like animals being herded along and driven by the government. We need to wake up. When you receive a letter saying that you have to get your doctor's appointment and go get a chip, or else whatever will happen, you know, your health care will be taken away from you, your food stamps will be taken away from you, your job will be lost, what will you do? Will you go in and take it? Are you willing to stand for Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, and not take it? It will be the only the beginning. We are in the days of tribulation. And the laws are being have been passed and set down. And they're telling you it can't be appealed. Well, it can be, but it won't be because we won't stand up. That's why uh, abortions got passed as a law. That's why prayer got taken out of school. That's why the law for homosexuals to get married was passed. We just simply lay down and lay back and not say a thing. Do I believe Obama needs to be impeached? Oh, yeah, I do. For the pure fact that he stood on the stage of the America and lied to America blatantly lied. Now, if you go into a court of law and you lie to a judge or to the court of law, they can sentence you to prison for perjury. He perjured himself when he lied to us all. I knew he was lying when he was talking. But see, most Americans did not 
or do they not want to realize that this man is a deceiver, a liar, a manipulator, and a very evil, evil person? They don't want to see it. They don't want to realize who he is. Now, I'm not saying he's the Antichrist, because I don't believe that the Antichrist will rise up out of America. He, he will be overseas in the Middle East somewhere. He's coming. I think he's already born. He's already here. And he's coming. He will rise up. Now, the Muslims believe he will come up out of a well or out of a cave. Well, I, I don't know about that for sure, but that's what their prophecy is. The Jews are looking for their Messiah, but not for the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach. A lot of the things that I have found out about this by studying their prophecies, their prophecies, and when the nukes begin to fall in the Middle East, including everything, and everything is so turned upside down, our economy will fall. We are being placed under a dictator right now, and we don't even realize it because we say, "Oh, he's our president." Oh, yeah, we, we'll, you know, in year 2016, we'll just vote another one in. Unless there is something that happens that he can pass a law that will permit him to stay as president, will that happen? I don't know could with all the things that he's mandated and passed into law himself over the Congress over the Senate could happen we that are the servants of Yeshua need to wake up and realize what we're in and prepare our hearts, our minds, our bodies. We need to turn to Yeshua totally, completely, from this stuff that's going on. You know, they have this picture of him standing going, oh, No, that defiant thing. I am the President of the United States, so how Dare you defy me? Hmm. He's broke his own laws of this country. He's lied to the people. He's misled the people. And he's, de he's very deceptive. He is so deceptive that Congress is passing laws that will say their people don't have to apply by this law but not caring about the people out here the common day man and woman and children that how we'll have to suffer underneath this law that will force them to do things they would never want to do One woman on the news said that she had an insurance that she was paying $400 for. Oh my gosh. I, personally, I could not pay $400 a month for insurance, health insurance. I couldn't. I don't have to, and I couldn't. But by the new program, it's going to be much higher close to a thousand or over or 900 or I, I don't remember exactly but 
I'm like going, oh my gosh, this is more like a middle class person, a higher class in person that could afford to pay the $400, but now with the higher amount, she can't afford to pay that. And the, out of the pocket for it, before the government kicks in and pays, is astronomical. Some of the treatments that you get will be in that line, and you'll be paying for it yourself right out of pocket. No help. Because there are some treatments that you have to do that will not be over that limit. If it's $1 less than what the required deal for them to pay, they won't pay any of it, and if they was just one dollar over, they just pay the dollar, and you have to pay the rest. We need to understand that we need to get, and, and the, you know, the Republican Party already wants to appeal this. I'm a Democrat, so us Democrat people needs to get on our party and say we want. We want this law appealed. And I would like to see Obama kicked out of office, really. I really would. You know, they put Bill Clinton on trial for having a sexual relationship while he was in office and he lied about it. Remember? He says, I never had sex with that woman. He lied. He got himself impeached. What Obama is doing, has done, by lying to us, the American people, is a lot worse than what Clinton did. I know what Clinton did was immoral. He shouldn't have done it. And I know that he lied and he shouldn't have done it and he got impeached for it. But we have a president that is totally lying and deceiving people and getting away with it. And it's that this lie affects everybody's life here in America. Now, Bill Clinton's lie only affected Bill Clinton and his family. Really, really, it did. And we thought it was the most terriblest thing that a president can do. Well, most presidents did it before him. Who knows? The presidents that come after him, the two that come after him, probably did it too. I mean, I'm not saying Obama's having sexual affairs on his wife. I don't know. Don't track him. Don't run after him. But honestly, that wouldn't be as bad as what he's doing now. He's deceiving America. And we are going to have to choose whether we stand for Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, one day soon, or we will cave in in fear to save our life. Because He will come after it one day. It's all leading up to that. If not Him, the next president will have the laws already there in hand and just walk in, say, okay, this is law, let's do it. Let's put all those Christians, those so-called Jesus freaks, in to the FINA camps and lock them down until they reform to our way of thinking, our way of living, obeying our rules and doing what we tell them to do and denying this one that they call Jesus Christ. Yeshua HaMashiach. It's all leading up 
to that. It really is, people. Are you ready? Is your heart ready? Are your, is your mindset ready to stand for Yeshua HaMashiach? As He stood for us, as He died for our sins, are you ready, really ready to stand for Him? Are you ready to stand for Him when they tell you you have to go get the chip? Will you say, oh, okay, I, I'll do this. I, I'm telling you. No. No. They're not going to put that thing inside my body. They're just not going to put that thing in my body. I will go to a Fena camp before I let them put a chip in me. I'll go to jail. I'll defy it. Civil disobedience. That's what they call it. Some coffee. Okay. Let's go back in time. England ruled America at one time. We had to pay homage to the king of England. We had to send our money, our taxes, over to the king of England. But then the people decide to rise up against this authority and say no. Remember the Boston Tea Party because they had a tax on tea because everybody drank tea back there. They drank tea more than they drank coffee. So they had a Boston Tea Party. That's how the revolution started. That's how we finally got George Washington as president because he became a commander of the Continental Army and he fought vigorously against the English troops. We stood and said, no, we won't do it, and fought for the right to be a sovereign country of our own away from the English rule and dictatorship. But now we have a president far worse than the King of England back in those days. Good men stood and said, No, we will not surrender our will to you, the King of England. We will have to choose one day soon whether we will stand for Yeshua HaMashiach or deny Him. Obama really is not a Christian. He speaks it out of his mouth. But he celebrates Ramadan. Hmm. Is that not an Islam religious practice? Do you, do you practice Ramadan? I don't. I believe in Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. I don't have any part to do with that religion. And I'm not putting down all Muslims because there are good, some good people out there that all they want to do is worship their God the way they want to worship Him and they don't want to get involved in any of this nonsense. But we have a Muslim president that could quickly mm, and forcibly have Sharia law right here in the United States. And 
being, if the Sharia law takes effect, they will want me to shut up. Well, I'm not going to shut up. I'm going to stand for Yeshua HaMashiach. And if they decide to kill me, I'll go home to the Father. It doesn't matter whether I go home in death or whether Yeshua comes and gets me and I don't have to die. Because honestly, come on people, think about it. When He comes to get you, this body will fall away and you receive a new body. So in a way, it be a, it's, you, you'll die. This body will... And then you enter into your new body that is prepared for you. So, whether in death or life, I will praise Him always. Are you willing to die for Him? It's going to come down to that. I'm serious. Are you willing to die for Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ? Are you willing to stand for Him and not compromise with this stupid world and all the sin and all the stuff that's coming upon this world through our very president, that is putting it on America and will be in league with those overseas. That's why he's trying to make us exactly like the countries overseas. A socialist. That is his viewpoint. That is what he wants to do. And Islam is slowly taking over everywhere in England, Middle East, Africa, and it's come here to America too. It's only a matter of time that the Sharia law will be passed. Watch and see. And I believe Part of it is Obamacare. It's a law. Oh, it's a law. Live with it. That's what they say. So when the other law that may be secretly attached to it, the Sharia law, that if you don't do this, we will come and get you. We are in the last days, people. And when all things fail, look to the eastern sky, for your hope is nigh at hand. Yeshua HaMashiach is coming. He's coming. I'm telling you. He's coming. But the Antichrist is also coming. After all of this stuff has been passed, of all the laws around the world is passed. And they're set in place and they're like in stone. Then the man of sin will step up and say, this is what you will do, and all governments will obey, period. The name will be wiped off the face of the earth, and the people that worship this being that you call Jesus Christ, the Son of God, you will submit or die. And then you have this false Jesus that will rise up and say, 
Oh, um, I lied. I didn't die for you. Um, I, yeah, right. The most honest, truthful man, human being, because he took he took the form of a human being, a man body, a a flesh and blood body, one that walked perfectly, never lied, always told the truth, even in adversity. That was willing to die and give his life for your sins, so we could have his righteousness covering us. Remember that when things begin to heat up, remember you're covered in His righteousness. Do not deny Him. Do not turn your back on Him. It is time to stand. I I even in Ephesians, when you've done all you can do, stand. When you've done everything you can possibly do and you're standing before the government stand for Yeshua HaMashiach Jesus Christ just stand and declare his name as holy I felt really strongly led to put this out because this thing is growing and multiplying and this thing is getting more and more evil the website is only a thing. Don't tell me you didn't know President Obama. You know everything. You're the president. But in your arrogance, oh, go ahead and do it. I said a mandate, and I said a date, and it has to be done. We'll work out the problems as we go along. Oh, well, they'll just live with it. That's his attitude. I believe that's what he said. And this woman that testified yesterday, she took blame for it too, so far her. Get rid of her. But they won't. My goodness, she's the ringleader. He, Obama pointed her. You're the chief commander. You do what I tell you to do, and she'll do it. She'll just do it. Please. Seek his face. Pray continuously. Pray. Because the church is failing. They're not really upholding the people like they should. And ministering to them. And feeding spiritual righteousness to them and holiness. And saying, stand firm for Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Stand firm. And if you have to, resist Satan. Resist him with all your strength, with all your mind. Resist him and stand on the word of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Stand on his word. Read the New Testament and get it in your heart. Read the Old too, for the laws and things that are past. But you need to get into the very words of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. You need to hear them. Read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Read and study and get those words deep in your heart so you can stand. In the time of great trouble, you will be able to stand, even if it is until death. Even if you stand even unto the time, your testimony, unto the point of death. Do not fear death, for there's life after death. You will just step through the doorway from this body into your new body. And I'm not talking about commit suicide. I'm telling, stand. If they put you against a wall and shoot you, if they put you on a gallow and they chop your head off, if they take you and put your head on a rock and they chop it off, whatever, stand for Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Do not relinquish your inheritance with Him. Father, bless this video for your glory. Amen and amen.